In this video, I'm going to talk about the related search parameter. Now, the related search parameter is a really powerful tool for finding websites that are, that are related to a certain uh, site so that you can get some more ideas of places you could pull information from, so you can get an idea of more places you could market your business on, for example. So like, let's say, for example, a lot of people like to create content on a site called Hub Pages, and they like to create these hubs and pages of content, and it's a good way to kind of build up their reputation online and their authority with content, right? So I just go here to Google, and I type in related, and then hubpages.com related and hubpages.com and it's going to pull up a list of various websites now I could take this info and say the top uh, 25 websites that are similar to hub pages that would be a pretty attractive article and would get a lot of clicks in my niche market so that's one of the powerful ways you can use this so you've got here you know hubpages.com uh, some of these like articlesbase.com so these are places you could create content tumblr buzzle.com info barrel ehow.com even if you found one new website that you could publish your content on because you use the related search feature I would have to say it's pretty powerful right so let's say you're in the golf space and you want to find more places to source good content I'm gonna to go to golfdigest.com golfdigest.com under related and it's gonna pull up 49 different websites we've got golfchannel.com um, golf WRX you've got uh, golf tips magazine You've got PGA.com, Golf Week. So that'll give you an idea of how this works for that niche. And I can find a whole slew of articles. Let's say you're somebody that you want to make sure you're catching up on the latest trends. So a site like BuzzFeed always has great content. They do a tremendous job at BuzzFeed with like their headlines too. So you could use that for ideas for your headlines also. Um, so sites related to BuzzFeed, well, they think BuzzFeed's one of a kind. So um, they don't have anything there. But let's say like technorati.com, technorati, like technical source. Um, they actually pull up uh, Mashable, Gizmodo, Inget, Gadget, um, Huffington Post, TechCrunch, The Next Web, uh, ZDNet. So they do a great job of pulling in that kind of data. Uh, let's say you are somebody that has physical products to sell and you want to think okay where else could I sell stuff besides eBay right well Amazon Etsy overstock.com this is good research that you can do so whatever niche market you're in um, you know you could go out and find websites related to your niche market and then do a blog post about well here's the top 10 sources for finding free amazing recipes you know and so I could say allrecipes.com. It's one of the more popular recipe websites out there. And you could say, okay, Epic Curious, they've got some cool recipes. So you could say my 10 favorite recipe websites. And then you list them because you found them in this. There's your article for the day. It's done. It's an article that's going to get social shares. It's an art type of article that will get the Google engagement that they're looking for. That's going to get that natural type of link, link building that they look for, that they want to see. It's going to naturally get eyeballs to you so it's a really cool way to use the related search so it's just related colon and then the website link and it's going to pull up all you know several different websites related uh, to that topic and to that phrase